Man, listen, I done did about 10 goddamn videos and had to erase them. I mean, I done did some good shit. I know I could have got 50, 100,000 off some of them. But I don't think I can't. I, I got, I'm walking on a thin line, so I can only say so much, you know, because they want to, you know, I don't know what I can say and what I can't say. But on to the Steve Harvey shit. Like I say, karma bad motherfucker at the end of the day. Tony Rock, go listen to him talk about Steve Harvey. And that's exactly how I feel. You know, they, they put this nigga like he the ambassador of black people. Well, Steve is a good businessman. Can't take nothing from him. But when it comes to all this dating shit, like he's just a stand-up black guy. Like he is the example for all black people. He been fucking divorced three times, cheated on all his wives, and married a dope nigga's woman. He married everybody's side chick. Like, he literally married the side piece, what you call it, uh, God. Like, this, you know, like, this bitch, she the side piece, she, she everybody's side piece. Every dope nigga in the hood, NBA player done been with her. You know what I'm saying? Um, you mad at a man, Steve Harvey mad at my man, the dude who just got out of jail. You took this man's kids, gave him your name and turned up against their daddy because he was locked up. And the thing of it is, you how you mad? You, you, you actually called, you told this man's son that his daddy was a punk ass and a deadbeat for going to prison when he was out here hustling, nigga. And first of all, nigga, he, your mama, that you should have told this nigga, your mama was that nigga's side piece. And he still took care of the kids. And she was the fucking side piece. So... So, Steve, how is you calling this man a deadbeat when your wife was his side piece? He's, most niggas lead him anyway and go somewhere, like, nigga. But he was actually taking care of her good, left her a building and all that shit when he went to jail. But he's a punk ass. You don't even know this man. That's why he want to see you now and you don't want to see him. You worried that he can get her back because they was friends. You cut all that off. He was doing life. He could have never touched her. But you cut the shit off. Well, okay, I understand that. He probably understand it too. But damn. You know, dog talking with good sense and you just ignorant, man. You you got exactly what you had coming to you, brother. That's why your name getting drugged so, so, so bad. Because you did, you put all the sucker shit in the, in the, in the, in the air out here. Uh, women should be put on the pedestal. They should be 85% of your money. You, you, all this bullshit, all this fake shit you putting on there. But how the fuck is you, how can anybody believe that shit that you selling when, like I say, you got three wives you done left with, you you, you just going up the line and you, you got with this one. What young man going to take you serious? How is you a lesson for a young man? Like, go lead a woman that's dedicated to you. It's okay when you get more money to upgrade women, right? That's that's what you telling them. You can upgrade women and fuck your family and kids, all that shit. Go make new ones. Fuck it. Fuck this motherfucker. You make more money, go get another bitch and start a new family. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and, and the thing is, bro, it ain't like you got a you got you fucking with the dope. You fucking with a dope girl. Out of all the money you got, all the celebrities and good girl women you around with, billionaires' daughters and why you know and shit like that, you around top notch people, bro. I'm talking about you around the upper echelon of people. You could have married any multi millionaire woman. You know what I'm saying? Somebody on your level. You go back to the hood and marry. Leave your wife for a broke side piece. This motherfucker broke. She probably didn't have a thousand dollars on their fucking account when you got back with her. Real talk. It probably ain't worth nothing right now. So you took her off the fucking street from the hood that every dope nigga in that hood done been with. You worse than Kanye marrying Kim Kardashian, my dog. That's that don't make no sense. Why would you do that? That's why he lost his goddamn mind. Because, nigga, you can't go nowhere. Nigga, anywhere uh, uh, Kanye West go, dog. Studio, basketball game, football game, soccer game, goddamn, maybe a little league game. Somebody that slept with this nigga wife. And he know that. Same thing with you. Now this shit hunting you. Like, goddamn, like, dog, she fucking cousins, man. She fucking cousins, my dog. And and, and 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 fucking dope niggas and basketball players and dog just putting her out there like nigga she was with every nigga with a couple of dollars.
And you a nigga with a couple of dollars. You think because your money's so long that she going to stop doing what she's doing, my dog? Something is wrong with your way of thinking. So how could you be the ambassador of anything? Oh, that's what she is. She the ambassador of side chicken. That's what your wife is, my dog. She the ambassador of side chicken, man. But uh, side chicken. But you know, um, you got karma. Karma came back to you, bro. So like I say, true or not, true or not, you got what you got coming, man. All that fakery you putting out here, and it, it came back to it came back to bite you, my dog. It's trouble in paradise, my nigga. And um, yeah, you something else, Steve. You know your way of thinking, your way of talking, you, how you dog, man, how you dog, niggas. You just. You just, and then you act like you, I mean, you put this motherfucker on such a pet. This the un most unbelievable part in the world. You act like you just got a stellar woman. Like you just got a woman straight out of fucking Harvard University somewhere or whatever. You know what I'm saying? With a degree and worth a couple million dollars. And you know what I'm saying? And we ain't going to know nobody she done been with because that's on the hush hush. No, nigga. Niggas coming out of jail writing books about this pussy. You know what I'm saying? And all that bullshit she did. They try to say, yo, body, man, this is unbelievable. If this come out being real about the bodyguard being all that girl's dad, daddy. Whew, listen, when it get like that, bro, you better thank God and take heed. Because if a motherfucker, I play you like that to, with somebody this is close to you is that nigga was that close to you and your wife that close to you and they did that to you, you lucky you came out of it good because we could have been sitting here listening to the TV and all we heard was, oh, Steve Harvey had a heart attack. He dies at well, however he is. First thing people were saying, well, yeah, he, he, be, he be working a lot. He been stressing. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing they going to say. Well, Steve Harvey worked himself to death. He had a cardiac arrest. They ain't going to look no more into it. Then she sitting there with four hundred million dollars. Yo, yo kids ain't got a goddamn dime because she married to him. You know what I'm saying? Though you ain't even leave your kids in the wheel, probably. That's how dirty you is. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck you beating on your sons and shit and dogging them? But then you putting this little motherfucker all these kids of hers all Lori Harvey, Lori Harvey. You then they on TV they don't say stepdaughter or half daughter or daughter through marriage. That's Steve Harvey's daughter. It's like you told the media, don't call her that. I have never heard not once them call her your stepdaughter. They always say that's your real fucking daughter. You know what I'm saying? That's how bad it is. That's how much you proud of them. My thing is, how could you be proud of this little motherfucker sleeping with every nigga in there? That's embarrassing to a nigga. Who the fuck wants their daughter jumping from nigga to nigga in the industry? So first of all, you already noticed a little, you know what? Number one, number two, you know that she about money because she dating only actors and rappers. So it ain't like she went and got a lawyer or a businessman. She probably hitting them too, though. But she, you know what I'm saying? She from, and, and then the mama agreeing with the shit because the mama looking like shit. That's how, I, that's, yeah, girl, do that. That's what I'd be doing when I was your age. So she living by curious through her. Sleeping, you know what I'm saying? And, and believe me, if your wife was a little younger, my dog, you think that your body got to be a problem. She, she, like I said, she knew she hit a lick. She hit a lick, bro. She ain't fucking with no nigga worth no two, three million dollars. That's neighborhood dope nigga money. What average nigga that's getting real money in the hood got a million or two million dollars put up. That ain't nothing. She, in the circle she in, she can get that anywhere at her age now. Can get her a younger rich nigga. But she was smart enough to know, like, I'm getting older. This nigga so sucker is in love with me. And this is hundreds of million dollars. This is some billion dollar shit right here. Like, oh yeah, I play wifey for this money. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I got, I got me one. You know, let me, let me, let me straighten up. Fuck all this bullshit. This is the mother load. But only so much. You only, only so long she can, you know, it's only so long she can, shit, the realness gonna come out. Like, I'm tired of this shit now. This shit is, is boring. You know, I need, you know what I'm saying? That's how she, like, I'm at home, I'm bored, I need some real, you know, I need some, I need a pie pie, I need some real spinach. She, like, I need a nigga to, <laughs> that bodyguard in there walking, cooking food in his goddamn, he come outside in his uh, uh, boxers and shit, uh, dick crack, uh, busting through the goddamn apron. 
She said, uh, he, they, Steve Harvey go. That nigga, listen, dog. That nigga that went from his motherfucking bodyguard to the cook. He like, I got to find out a way to stay in the house with this pussy. Fuck that bodyguard shit. I'm going to start cooking, Steve. You know, get you a new bodyguard to go on the road with you. I'm going to be Marjorie's personal cook. <laughs> this bitch eating meat all day. This bitch a goddamn uh, cockasaur. That's funny as hell. This, <laughs> like, damn. She went from a vegan to a freaking. But yeah, that's that's crazy though. Man, that's fucked up, Steve. But you get what you got coming, my dog. That's all that is. That's karma. You know? Dogging your kids out. And they gotta watch you put this little motherfucker on the pedestal. You know what I'm saying? She probably doing good, probably got her one of the nigga, you know, about to marry him or something. You got this little motherfucker jumping from nigga to nigga and you act like you so proud of her, but I never see you talk about your real family ever on, on and ever. You know, only time that shit come up is when you beating on them and you know some shit they saying you done beat on them and all this shit. It's crazy, man. But anyway, yeah, and them comments, you know. Anyway, I'm Trap Talk Blue. If you like what you hear, hit the like and subscribe button.